Yo, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to React Indie Vinland Saga tonight. We are on episode 20. Last time, what happened? Um, basically, we wrapped up the Thorfinn Thorkel exchange. Um, Thorfinn actually kind of won. It was kind of bad because, um, Askeladd gave Thorfinn the pro tip of, uh, Thorkel got a weak jaw. So, you know, Thorfinn jumps up, kicks him in the, kicks him in the chin. Thorkel goes, dunk, right? And Thorfinn goes for the eyes because he's a real one and he knows exactly where to strike. Uh, when he needs to, right? But before um, the duel could, like, finish, uh, a bunch of Thorkel's men jumped in and started, like, breaking it up because they're the worst. So Thorkel got pissed. Thorfinn didn't get to, like, win or whatever, but it was just a mess. And then during the mess, Canute walks in with his new, like, um, religion boost, right? His, like, he's, like, past, like, a philosophical existential milestone. So he walks in strutting like like a champion and just says um your battle here it's stupid the, whatever you're doing don't care come with me we're gonna go we're gonna go beat up uh my dad <laughs> and everybody's like yeah let's go beat up your dad kind of i mean we'll see what happens man i mean Thor thorkel is like on can the canute side more or less he's like yeah i'll, I'll do that um and oscalod is doing it too he like pledged to him or whatever and Thorfinn's just gonna follow Oskolot around. Um, also, Bjorn's about to die. He's like, he got destroyed. Uh, so, and that's part of why Canute, I don't know. Canute wanted to like save his life or whatever. Let's just jump into the episode and see what happens, honestly. That's that's what I'm feeling right now, I know. All right. Three, two, one. <clears throat> Sorry, gotta check my settings. Oh, what's up, uh, Floki? Oh, now you're Lord Floki? <laughs> Wait. Oh, we're fighting? <laughs> I mean, that's basically what happened. I'm just surprised that Floki knows about it. Oh, Floki's pogging. What do you see? Oh, they just walked in. I thought that, I thought, okay, let's just see what happens. Oh, Thorkel with the eye patch. Yeah, I mean, if I was Floki, I'd be, I'd be freaking out too, like. <laughs> Askeladd, he's got the cool scar now. I can't tell if he's all bark, no bite or not, you know? Canute's a really interesting situation. Thorfinn looks so fed up with it. Oh my goodness, Canute, chill with the death glare. No, oh, just kidding, it worked. <laughs> Look at them strutting by. Man, Thorfinn just walked by Floki. That's kind of crazy. Considering, you know, how the uh, beginning of the series happened. He's definitely a different man. He had his he had his uh, character arc. He had his, uh, my dad don't love me no more. What is love? He had all that stuff gone. Which was pretty interesting. I probably need to run that back and uh, let that one soak in a bit more, honestly. Though, you know what I'm worried about? This little OP here, it does have the evil arrows going towards Iceland. And if we recall back to... I don't remember how many episodes ago, a while ago. Maybe we're going to have to gamble. Maybe uh, there's going to be like a game with a freaking Canute or something. The Slave Girl, right? Um, Where Leif Erikson saw like the Slave Girl and like reminded him of um, Thorfinn or whatever. Like that could be a sign of... Something bad happening in Iceland, which is not good. Kind of want Iceland to be popping off. I love Thorfinn. Thorfinn's the, the best part of the show. I'm going to be real. Thorfinn's my the best character. I'm going to say it. Mm, they had an apple and then a bitten apple. What is that? Like biblical illusion? Hmm? Hmm? Little uh, curse of knowledge kind of action. 
Thorkel is kind of a chad too. The Thorkel just keeps getting permanently wounded. He's missing, what, two fingies? Star scar wound here. Uh, now he's missing an eye. Like, Thorfinn is just dismantling him, like, battle by battle. It's it's just ridiculous. Mm, yeah, I guess they can't just kill Canute because they the entire reason they sent Canute out was so he would die without... Um, without Canute. Without them having to, like, take responsibility for his death fully. <laughs> That's, a uh, Thorkel's, like, second in command. Oh, Thorkel's into that. I mean... <laughs> I like Thorkel. He's fun. What about Thorfinn? What's Thorfinn doing? Just bodyguard? Fair. Yeah, can we get some info on Prince Harald? Hmm. Oh, if we kill the dad, then you're the leader. Oh yeah, that couldn't fall upon us, or else it wouldn't work out. Interesting. How does Canute feel about murdering their dad? Yeah, I, I don't know how... Yeah, I don't think Thorfinn's gonna just do what he's told. Oh, but Askeladd can force it with the dual thing. Okay, dude. Askeladd's OP. What does that mean? Right. Kind of negligent. Is that what you're thinking? Unforgivable. Okay, Canute. That was kind of that was kind of hype. I'll give him that one. Heaven on earth. I'll do what he, what God doesn't. I mean, I respect it. Okay, I'm starting to respect Canute. Call me to his side with love. That's a big task, my guy. He's like trying to become his own god because of, um, even if it means becoming demons, because of the, he's unsatisfied with the work that, uh, he's seen with God, right? Like all the whores around him have, a uh, what's the word? Mm, I can't, I, I don't know the word. Have made him unhappy with God. So he's trying to become that, which is a work that you will never finish but i mean it's respectable it's a it's a i'm into it i mean that's a great work to um strive for oh 20 band Above us, too? Okay. Wow. <laughs> King Sven was on it. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, okay. We're doing the, um... Ooh. That's kind of Thor's ask, right? Uh, a true warrior needs no sword. Which the friar at least has heard. Man, this show is getting crazy. And then no judge's character. 
That's a face. What do you think, Askeladd? He's stunned. His eyes are tired. Oh, is he disappointed? Oh, his teethies. Man, I never would have expected to see Thorfinn bowing to the King of the Danes like this. But we are at war. Oh, I just want to talk to you. Okay, I like that. If it's genuine and not a murder plot. He who draws first loses. It's like this, uh, like mental game or something, where they're just like sending chat energy at each other, see who uh, cracks first. This is true. He had the twinkle in his eyes. Okay, dude. King Sven don't got no twinkle in his eyes. That's that's important. Man. Okay. Do you think, do you have some wisdom to spit from your age? This is true. <laughs> yes, Thorfinn. Yes, Thorfinn. I want Thorfinn to keep spitting. That's, I think, what Ragnar has said before, right? That the nobles would kill each other, and that's why he, uh, Canute just stayed silent. Stay out of harm's way. Oh, shoot, that's a line. It's like the, the corruption of power. That's a crazy lighting change. To kill me, is that what you're saying? Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh my goodness. He's about it. The arrows are about it. Yep. Okay. They drew first. How are they going to lose, Canute? You got some explaining to do. This is, this is kind of like what I talk about, right? Like... It doesn't matter how good your ideals are if you're outgunned. Like, oh wait. You die here. Yep. Is Kanu gonna refuse? I mean, he's not gonna accept that. He don't care about the Bible no more. He's about to make a new Bible. Oskar is trying to get out of this. <laughs> Who are you? Oh, 
王冠の意志にかないましょう Oh, okay, our squad's about to say some. Let's see. London Yori Toroker to you, send your go, Ubai to him. That's accumulating power, too. London no Tommy, Mukis no Mama Hekono Monoto Narimo. Had I not a Giseo Harai, Kono Senka or Motara Sharua, Kunuto. Yeah, and that's that's kind of in line with the whole crown thing. True. Okay, see, this is why Osclod is so good at this kind of stuff. Because he understands, like, all the political crap. And, like, his person reading skills, all that stuff is just... This man likes to talk. Okay, he does like to talk. This is true. Ashen one. It's okay. It's quite the epithet. Mm. <laughs> is that your rage boiling? What is that? Oh, dude, he's he's getting up. He's freaking out. Yeah. Thorfell can recognize it, though. He didn't like that. He got called out exactly. And he hated that. He doesn't like to get read. He likes to read. What's Osclaw gonna do? Oh, he's freaking out. Because that's his thing. Like, his family, his lineage, like, all that stuff with the, um, the Hero of Avalon, like, all that kind of, you know? And then he was just completely ignored and called out for like the slave mother or what exactly was said. <laughs> he reeled that back in well though, holy crap. Okay. Huh, is a slave to the crown? We're all slave to something. I will wield the queen's power with skill. I wonder, like... Um... I don't know. I don't know. Is that the end? That better not be the end. No, okay. Good, good, good. Yeah, give us some Thorkel party action. Look, there's a child on his shoulders. Canoe, cheers. Long live. Yes. Is that the friar? That <laughs> is the friar. He got a haircut. He got a haircut. You got a haircut. Yep. Yep, there it is. <laughs> They're pogging. <clears throat> Early 20s. Dang. 58 horn handicap. <laughs> Uh. It's so, this is such a weird situation. Canoe and Oskalod drinking beverage next to each other, looking over Thorkel partying. Where's Thorfinn? I just want, I don't know. I care about Thorfinn. Okay. And he also recognizes Oskalod as a um a dangerous foe, which I really like. They they were able to like notice each other's um 
situation. What is this? Who is this dude? <laughs> Are you trying to fly away? What? Okay, dude. What? What are you like reloading your arm? Man, I thought Oscar would like to talk. Oh, it's Ragnar's brother. I see Ragnar inherited all the like Chad genes. Gunnar just is goofy. Hmm? Ragnar is dead. Yeah, this is gonna. It's his brother. What are those little meat? Little meat? He did just brush over Ragnar's death. Yeah, unrecognizable. As will happen, everything must change, and I will see to that. Okay. Okay. Sure. Become your own god. I'm fine with that. That's a cool philosophy to have. Take a piss. Ah! Oh, it's Thorfinn practicing. I thought he was about to get murdered. Oh, 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 yeah! Yes, show the bucket how you do it. Who? Oh, it's Shaggy and Freddy. Freddy has lost his memory. Saw the way he was looking around, all confused. Oh, they're leaving. Freddy. You know what, Shaggy? Shaggy was a real one. Atli. I'm still calling him Shaggy. He, yeah, he is a nice guy. Other than the, you know, raiding and pillaging of towns. Oh, no, really? I think he's the one that stabbed Bjorn, too, right? Why? Aww. Oscar is giving a gift. <laughs> Goofy. You're a good man, so go be a good man, yeah. Oh, Oscalod. That's crazy to hear from Oscalod. He's. I don't know if I could even. I don't know. He's in contemplation mode. Look at the way he's looking out into the forest like that. That's hardcore contemplation. Oh! Slaves! Okay! I was talking about you, Leif Erikson. He's looking for Thorfinn, dude. Wait, dude, I think he's on Thorfinn's trail. Let's see. North Northumbria, Danish occupied York. February. Dang, no, this is a different place. This is January, 
Northeast England, Gainsborough, Outskirts. And this is Danish Occupied York. Those are just different. Dude, Usquad's on the hunt. Or, I mean, th uh, th freaking Leif Erikson. He's like trying, I think he's trying to find Thorfinn. Dude, what's gonna happen with the Thorfinn arc? Because Osclod is like, I don't know. Like, that was very generous of him, and it's like a. It just shows his character growth. Like, I don't, it's hard to say character growth, um, but I guess it would be kind of character growth, right? Because ever since Thor's, he still does all the raiding and pillaging. But at the same time, I mean, he he kind of kept Thorfinn alive, I mean, in a weird way. Mostly just because he was useful. So I don't know if you could even say that was an altruistic action. This was obviously, like, altruistic, though, right? He's going out of his way to secure the the life of one of his men, like, in so that he doesn't have to fight again, which is just nice of him to do. Um... Freaking Oscalod, dude. Freaking Oscalod. I don't even know what to think about this. This development. I feel like there's not even much to talk about this episode. I'm going to be honest. You yeah. know, because it's like, okay, let's think Thorfinn and Oscalod, right? Thorfinn, is Thorfinn going to end up even getting to kill Oscalod? I mean, because Thorfinn is still doing kickflips, like murdering a bucket. Uh, so it's like, and what was his requirement for getting a duel with Oscalot again? I don't remember. I think it was just to defend Canute. So there might be like in the immediate future, another duel between the two of them. Um, but it's like, how can we, how is there a possible future that Oscalot's character arc gets like finished, right? With the whole... Like, his mother's stuff, with the canoe stuff, with securing all his stuff. Like, he has so much stuff that he's trying to do that's just not done right now. And Thorfinn's trying to murder him. But then we got Thor's, like, ideology that's hanging over everything that's, like, pacifism. So if that starts to, like, become super relevant in Thorfinn's life, like, Thorfinn's not gonna, like... It's gonna be the question of, should Thorfinn kill Oscalot or should Thorfinn choose the path of pacifism? Like... That's, like, kind of the thing that is kind of becoming relevant again because of all the, um, Christianity, like, new, like, all that stuff has made these ideological stuff super relevant again. Um, which is kind of, like, difficult to, um, like, li like, hear or whatever because Thorfinn is so set on murder, and not murder, on dueling Osquad to the death that... If he doesn't do that, it almost feels like a betrayal to his character because of how ingrained it's in him. Though, I think it's almost, it's meant to be something that he comes to terms with because that's the entire thing from the start of the show with Thor's, is the pacifism. So it's like, I don't know how they're going to be able to like finesse it. How they're going to make it feel right that Thorfinn does or doesn't kill Osclod. Because if he just kills Osclod in a duel, like, that's going to feel right because of vengeance, right? But if he doesn't, and he chooses not to, like, that's going to require so much character development. And I just, I'm just, I don't know how they're going to make that happen. I mean, maybe with some Canute stuff, but Canute and Thorfinn don't, like, have anything in common. I mean, they're the same age. They both have some, some sort of royal blood. It's different, though. I mean, because Thorfinn's Comes from his mom, who had to do with the Yams Vikings, I think. Like, um, because she was like a gift to Thor's for being like a really, really good commander. While Canute is actually just straight descendant from the king, so it's different. Uh, I do want to see Oscalod's line again. That made him pissed. Let's see. Um, the son of a slave. That's what did it to him. And him, like, leaking aura, that was sick. I thought he was about to go ahead. I thought, I thought he was going to lose his mind. Um, And that makes sense for, for Osclod, uh, considering the... I mean, his entire thing with his mom. And, like, that's the... And he doesn't like the Danes already, right? Um, Yeah. 
So it's like, I don't know. I'm sure he already kind of hates this guy a little bit. But it's just difficult. It's just difficult. It's getting all political and crazy like that, which is just hard. For, it's, it's more difficult to follow. I'm more of a let's watch Thorfinn catch bodies kind of guy. Though this stuff is like, I actually really liked the, um, the like prep, prep to the ambush. They all walk in and they're like, okay, we're like about to get jumped. And then they just talk their way into convincing the king that they have so much value and like tactical value, um, that they shouldn't be killed. And that it would also make the king look bad to like all the chieftains or whatever to have his son killed, uh, in this way, especially to all the people that are killing the son. Like that's hard to keep under wraps, I bet. Like he said, like he wishes to be known as a wise king, uh, Quoth, Canute, Canute, freaking Canute. He's just, he's acting so giga Chad, right? And it's out of a complete and utter dedication, devotion, determination to make the world better seeing that god hasn't made the world better something like that right um he's disappointed in in god and wishes then to do god's job so that then he can even look upon god's love and say that he doesn't need it because earth has been made into something that like you know we're not reliant on god anymore we've become our own god which uh, I think I compared it to him, like Nietzsche a little bit. I don't know enough about Nietzsche to really like cement that, but that might be like kind of an avenue um, of that thought, which is super interesting. Um, and I think it's great. I mean, it's a great motivation to have. Uh, and it's like good for the world, right? Like it improves the world, makes it better, reduces suffering. These are all like tenants that I'm, I'm, in, I'm a fan of all those. Reduce suffering? Sure, like let's go. It's just like... I'm stubborn with my characters, right? And it's hard for to see such a such a flip. But we knew it was coming. I've been talking about the canoe character character growth like the entire time ever since he became on screen. So I'm starting to become more okay with it. It's just weird to see still. Um especially because we got the thug characters, Oscalad and Thorkel, like in servitude under him. So to see like these Chad characters serving somebody that like was introduced as the worst can be kind of difficult. Um, though I think he's starting to like, I don't know, show some value or whatever. And then Thorfinn's just kind of doing it, doing whatever because Oscalad's there. Like he doesn't really care about anything, I bet, because he's a real one. Because he's the real determination. <sighs> Dang. All right, well, I think that's a good spot for this episode, episode 20. On to the next episode 21. What are they gonna do in these next four episodes? <sighs> that's crazy. I, who even knows? I don't even know what they're going to do now. I mean, Thorfinn probably wants to fight Oscalod, and then Canoe wants to figure out the whole king, uh, like a way to usurp power from the king, or to usurp the king and become the new king or whatever. But he even said today that this wasn't really something he would be able to do for a while. So, on to the next to see what happens. Until then, until the next episode, I hope you have a great rest of your day, night, dawn, evening, whatever is great, whatever you're doing, you're doing great. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe if you're new. But until then, until the next episode, I'm out of here. Peace.